Big news today because the DeLorean is back. Great Scott. It's a 2 plus 2 electric GT called the Evolved Alpha 5. And in this video, I'm going to cover some of the spec and tech of the car. And of course, we need to see what design details we can find in this car that were inspired by the iconic Back to the Future DMC-12 by comparing the old and the new in a front, side and rear view. But first, let's talk about some of the spec, what we know so far. What we know is that the performance is that it has a 100 kilowatt hour battery pack and multiple motors. Zero to 60 is completed in 2.99 seconds and the marketing team, of course, had to include zero to 88 miles per Hour, and that takes 4.35 seconds. It goes on to a top speed of 155 miles per hour, which is 250 kilometers per hour. And the range is estimated at 300 miles, which is about 483 kilometers. So pretty standard numbers in today's EV world. What I'm showing you in this video, these photos here, they look like renders and most likely done in key shot. However, the physical DeLorean Alpha 5 will be presented on August 18 with production scheduled to start in 2024 somewhere in Italy. One letdown already is that this will be a very limited production car of only 88 units, obviously. However, the company says that they have, they have more cars scheduled for production down the road. Now let's jump into Photoshop and let's have a look at this gorgeous new DeLorean. Gone are the, you know, the boxy, very linear sharp lines of the 80s and in comes this gorgeous organic looking design. As you can see, it looks super slippery and in fact it is, it has a drag coefficient of 0.23, which is pretty good, but not as good as the standard, I think the, the leading car in drag coefficient right now is the Mercedes EQS with the uh, drag coefficient of 0.20. However, if you compare this to the Mercedes EQS, the EQS looks like a blob and I would definitely pick this beautiful design that actually has some nice proportions and styling in it over the EQS any day. So let's have a look at what actually carried over from the original DMC-12 up here in the front view to the uh, the new version right here. We're gonna have a look at this and then the side and the rear. I'm also gonna show you the interior real quick. So as you can see, there's not really a lot that uh, carried over. You have some small details such as this little metal piece here in the original turned into this nice triangle down here and then you have these big air intakes right here that sucks in that then shoots up right here from the hood. There are two outlets right here in the hood that kind of flows the air through the bottom of the intakes in the front end and through the front end and up over the hood creating a bit of downforce in the front end and also reduces the drag. Then you have these gorgeous headlights in the front end. I really love this. I'm not sure where the actual headlights are in this design maybe they sit underneath here somewhere because this little LED strip it's not big enough or not powerful enough to be the, uh, the, the you know the actual headlights of the car but other than that not really a lot going on here comparing it to the original I do really love this design we have a super clean line flow and as you know these were both designed by a tall design and that was uh, founded by Giugiaro who also designed the original DMC-12 up here. So it already has a connection between who designed the original and who designed the new one. Looking at the side view, I think this is, as you know, always my favorite view to compare cars. And here we see that the new DeLorean is a lot bigger than the old one. We actually has a two plus two uh, seating inside, which means that you can actually fit not maybe full 6.5 foot people in the rear, but you can fit some passengers in the rear. And we have these massive gullwing doors, which I think is really cool that they implemented in the new one. They are some of the biggest ones I've ever seen. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Koenigsegg Yamira uh, doors, which also has massive doors going up like that and seating four people. One detail though that I really love about this new, uh, new design is that if you look at the wheels, I love these new wheel designs because they are clearly inspired by the original, a lot bigger and they look almost like a uh, more static design of the Tesla turbine wheels, which I'm also a huge fan of. But I think these straight spokes, they definitely suit the DeLorean better than if we were to have 
the, uh, the turbine design that we have in the Teslas. But look at how gorgeously sculpted this design is. We have a nice long shoulder line going here and then kind of fades out in this area and then coming back in the same line flow into the front end right here. Nicely done and the roof line looks really beautiful as well. Not a not one single line on this car I believe is actually straight. Maybe this line down here in the in the shoulder line. One detail that I wish they would have carried over from the original is this black uh, line that we have in the min in the middle of the car. So this would I would say this would uh, suggest being the shoulder line of the old one right here. So we have kind of the shoulder line a lot higher here, but I would want to see this separation line. I would love to see have seen that in this design as well. So we have a black line. We kind of have a little bit of it right here, but this type have this graphic stretch all the way from the front and cut into the body going into the rear. I think that would, would have been a cool homage to the original design as well. We have a little bit of a uh, carryover from this graphic detail into the new one. You can see that we have some sort of um, small graphic piece right here that kind of they don't they didn't need to have. I think this is actually the door handle for the door, and I really love how they implemented that in in the new design and carried over this design that we have in the original. In addition, moving down lower, we have this graphic that kind of cuts into the body and makes it look more athletic. It reduces the the weight of the body, the height of the body colored pieces right here and creates a really nice athletic side view looking at it from from this angle and I also love this little upswing in the rear end right here creates more dynamic feeling definitely more dynamic than we have in the 80s a very static design but iconic design at the same time so let's jump into the rear view and then as a final image I'm going to show you the interior and let you know what I think about that so the rear view is pretty pretty interesting here as well because we have some carryover from the original up here into the new one specifically Specifically, the graphic details of these three bars that we have right here. So we have three kind of stacks of lights here in the original. They are separated by these lines, but in the new one, we still have three stacks. What I love about this treatment here is that we have one of these stack doing something unpredictable to kind of break up the the predictability of this design. And th these are details that uh, I love when designers put in. It, it, it's something that kind of breaks the mold from what you expect to see. And what I'm talking about is the top bar stretching into the body and kind of breaks out of this framing that is the rear end, which is this uh, framing right here. So it kind of breaks out here and creates a light that you can see even from a side view right here. And I think this is a really cool detail from DeLorean that I really like that they implemented and created something like that. It kind of is a little annoying at the same time because you want to have them all be in line, but that annoying thing piece makes it more interesting to look at. Down here we have this big massive beautiful diffuser coming up right here in a very smooth organic way. Not something that we saw on the original at all. But what we saw here we had the louvers in the rear window and those carried over to the new one as well. However the greenhouse is a lot thinner in the rear end. The width of it is a lot smaller than we have in the original obviously 80, typical 80s design of the greenhouse. So looking at the interior here, I think this is a very clean, doesn't have to be too complicated interior. This is what I like to see in a new EV. And yes, they did slap kind of an iPad on here, but you can see that the iPad actually has some sculpturing to it and some angles right here. Angles going this way instead of having it be just a square or a rectangle like this. Even the, the screen itself has the same angles to them as the outside uh, chamfer right here. It's a nice looking interior and I think this will work better because it has a hat right here. So if you have a lot of sunlight going in, it's actually going to create more of a shading for the, the screen itself. And I think that's going to help with reflections and so on, reduce reflections in the screen specifically on sunny days. And it also looks a lot better. And then we have this big chamfer going all the way around the interior. It kind of creates this cocoon-like uh, style of the interior. From the doors you have almost a seamless transition into the dash which looks really cool and you also have a smaller screen going up here in the center stack which I think looks good integrated in the same kind of style here integrated in the housing 
of the design of the of the screen and following the same lines and the same uh, angles of the outline framing of the screen and it looks a lot better than just smacking screens uh, ran seemingly randomly on the interior up here you have the uh, uh, vents for the air which looks very cool integrated right there and two cup holders it looks like right here very cool design by delorean i can't wait to see this out in in real life it's a little sad that they only decided to make 88 uh, cars with this specific model because i think this could be a legit uh, competitor to the EQS and, and the uh, Tesla Model S because it looks so good but I think the problem with DeLorean is that they kind of have to reboot and kind of get everything rolling again and re revive an old company and that takes a lot of effort and a lot of work so I guess I, I understand why they create this as a, a very limited production car but hopefully we'll see more cars like this stylized by a tall design in this fashion in a beautiful style moving forward in the future and i think this is what we all like to see we want to see old cars old iconic designs being revived now as evs because we have that opportunity to create very beautiful cool designs and build whatever style we want on top of this platform that are the batteries and a couple of motors on each axle let me know what you think about the new delorean are you a fan do you think they should have gone more retro or is this just the perfect way to design a new delorean let me know in the comments below thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video